Good morning, everyone. This is Gigi. Hi. I just summer. I try to say hello to everyone. Hi. So um, yeah, so excited to have the Yan Yin class today here. So I'm uh, my name is Gigi. I'm the instructor of. Uh, Oxygen Yoga and Fitness in London, Ontario at uh, London Mass 5. So again, we are going to have a Yan Yin class today. So this is one of my favorite. So um, yeah, as usual, before we start, try to, um, because we have half Yen and half Yin today. So um, before we're going to start our class today, make sure you get any pops. Like, of course, we have a mat, and if you have a booster, go ahead to get a booster. If you have a pillows and also a block. Okay, so, um, and again, try to get some water next to you whenever you want to have some water, go ahead. If you want to do some rest, go ahead. So, as always, please ask your physicians um, for advice before you begin any exercise program. If you choose to exercise to this video, please remember that uh, you do at your own pace, always listen to your body, be mindful whenever you want to take rest, go ahead, child tools, or just lying down on your mats. Okay, so if you feel discomfort, dizziness, nauseous, no worry about that, you just take a rest here. Okay, so always listen to your body, Oxygen Yoga and Fitness and its affiliates disclaim all liability for the claims resulting from failure to comply with these warnings and or the exercises in this video and or any instructions and advice provided. So, yep. Okay, uh, before I forget, uh, today, um, no, this week our mantra is, our mantra is, I am open to new adventures. So, yep, try everything new, no worry about everything, just enjoy your life. So, we have three more minutes, so you just wait for here a few minutes. So, for the Yan Yin class, if you have practiced Yan Yin before, for the half, first half is uh, into a Yan practice, it's more like more energized practice. Um, Mostly is on grounding position, like use your legs a lot. So you may feel your legs burn. So try when you're into the pose, try only focus on your breath and use your breath, help you to settle yourself down and stay strong here. Okay, for the yen practice, I will use some like a more stronger music. Um, because this is live, so maybe you don't listen to it, uh, but uh, try. I try to turn it off and turn it on a little bit. So hopefully you can listen to music. Okay, for the yin practice, it's like more inward. So just let everything go and just try to let your whole body relax. And close your eyes and just enjoy the practice. Okay, so, okay. I think we can go to start now. <sighs> Just a second. Okay, today we are going to start in mountain pose position. Feet hip width apart, arms aside your body, palms facing forward, and now close your eyes. Before we're going to start our Yan Yin practice today, take, in, take two minutes here to settle our mind and settle down our body and try to be still in your mountain pose and only focus on your inhale and exhale. Try to find the four corners of your feet, press them down firmly 
If you want, you can shift the weight from side to side and take a moment here to find the center of your body. Front and back, side to side. Relax your shoulders down. Push your belly in, keep length on your spine now. Feel yourself very, very tall. You may even feel the air around your fingertips. Soften your eyebrows. Again, only focus on your beautiful breath. Nothing else. Try to lengthen your inhale. Feel the air slowly into your lung. Feel your chest rising up and expand out. And when you exhale, let everything go and feel the warm air out. One more breath here. Try to lengthen your breath even a little bit more. Now slowly move your toes, slowly move your fingers and softly open your gaze, lengthen your spine long. Inhale through your nose and exhale, open mouth. One more breath here, inhale, big breath in and exhale. Slowly inhale, arms up overhead. Use your left hand to hold your right wrist. Inhale, lengthen your spine long. Soften your gaze and exhale, bending your body to your left side. Keep push your belly button in. Try to open your chest a little bit more. Keep soften your gaze. Don't think anything else here. Keep feeling the length of your right side body. Keep press your feet down firmly, stay strong here. Two more breath here. Inhale and when you exhale, try to go down a little bit more. One more breath, stay strong. Inhale, the breath is squeeze your shoulder blade a little bit more and exhale, go down to your left. Inhale, slowly back to center and change. Release the tension on your shoulders if you want. Inhale, lengthen your spine now, lengthen your arms. And exhale, bending your body to your right side. Keep push your belly button in. Keep press your feet down firmly. Lengthen your arms now. We are going to stay here for four more breaths. Soften your gaze. Close your eyes or open your gaze. Find your gisty. Don't think anything else. Keep press your feet down firmly. Feel the energy, feel the power of your body. Squeeze your soda blade, one more breath. Feel your chest expand. And when you exhale, try to go deeper. And slowly inhale back to center. And exhale, release your arms down aside your body. Find the center of your body first. Inhale, the breath in. And exhale, open mouth. Inhale, arms up overhead. And exhale, sitting back and down into Ukatasana, chair pose. Track your alignments first. Knees over your ankles. You can still track with your toes. And now soften your shoulders down. You can stay still in regular chair pose. Or open your arms to the side. Bending your elbows, squeeze your elbow in to the side. And palms facing up. Gaze forward or slightly up a little bit. Push your belly button in, keep your chest open. We are going to stay here for four breaths. Find your GST, soften your gaze, only lengthen your breath, inhale and exhale. Keep spread all your fingers out. Feel the power, feel the air on top of your palms. One more breath here. And when you exhale, try to sit down even a little bit more. Stay strong here. 
and slowly inhale, press yourself all the way up, and exhale, forward fold. You can bend in your knees more if you want. Plant your palms down and step back into downward facing dog. This is our first downward facing dog. You can walk your dogs if you want. Check your alignment, spread all your fingers out, press your palms down firmly. And now stay still in down dog. Softly open your gaze, gaze in between your feet. Keep use your breath when you inhale, lengthen your spine long. Try to imagine your tailbones almost can touch the ceiling. And when you exhale, go a little bit deeper. Three more breath here. Inhale the breath in. And exhale. One more. Inhale the breath in. Feel your lung expand. Feel your chest rising up. Feel the air in. And when you exhale, go a little bit deeper to press your palms down firmly. Now slowly inhale. Shift your weight forward into high plank. If you feel too much, drop your knees down. It's okay. Or stay in high plank. Soften your gaze. Keep press your palms down firmly. Hollow your armpits. Press your heels back. Imagine there is a block in between your legs. And now stay still here for five breaths. Don't think anything else. Now you may feel something. You may feel your heart rate up a little bit. Try to focus back on your inhale and exhale. Keep your body still. Don't move. Stay strong. Almost done here. Don't give it up. One more breath here. Keep hollowing your armpits. Inhale through your nose. And exhale. Push your belly button in towards to your spine. Now slowly inhale. Lift your hip bones up higher. And exhale into downward facing dog. Inhale. Swing your right foot forward. In between your hands. I'm going to turn it this way so you guys can see it. Option one, drop your back knee down or in high lunge here. Keep your back legs very, very strong. Keep your back heel up. Knees over your ankles and now slowly inhale, arms up. Hold your fist tight and lift it together and now open it up. Bend in your front leg. Scissor your legs to the center. Push your belly in. Inhale, lengthen your spine, long gaze forward, and exhale, soften your hips down, and stay here for four breaths. Soften your shoulders down, don't looking around, stay still. Only inhale and exhale. Keep your legs very, very strong, scissoring your hips to the center. One more breath here, inhale, keep your back legs very, very strong and exhale, soften your hips down. Now keep your front leg bending. For those who are in low lunge, it's your choice. You can keep your low lunge or move into bear in air. For your hands, palms facing up again, squeeze your elbows in, push your belly button in, and now stay still here. I know your legs hurt. Focus on your breath. Use your strong breath, help you to stay stronger. Soften your gaze here. Keep lengthening your spinal, keep your chest open, almost done. One more breath only. Now slowly inhale, straight your front leg, release some tension, release your hands on your hips and open yourself up into warrior two position. And now soften your shoulders down away from your ears, lengthen your spine long, back foot parallel to the mat, press the outer edge of your back foot down, hips towards to your left side. And now stay still here for five breaths. Again, don't think anything else. Keep your GST. Find one spot to focus on. And use your inhale and exhale. 
Try not to focus on your legs. Focus on your mind and focus on your breath. Even you can try to close your eyes. Feel the peacefulness. Feel the peace, feel the stillness. Keep bending your front leg, keep your warrior two legs. Now turn your palms up. Pull your fist in the fingers and from up. Lengthen your arms long first. Inhale, body back. Even bending your front feet more. Keep your back legs very, very strong. Lengthen your spine long. If your head, your neck a little bit hurt, you can just ease your gaze forward. Stay strong here again. Don't think about your legs. I know it's really, really hurts. My legs is hurt too. One more breath here. Stay strong. When you exhale, can you go a little bit deeper? Now slowly straight your front leg first. Release some tension. Release your push, arms down, and step back and into downward facing dog. Now shift your weight forward, right palms under your face, turn your body to your left side, into side plank. You can drop your knees down if you want. Stay here for five breaths. For those who have more experience, even you can lift your legs up. Choose your options, stay still. One more breath. Push your right hip up a little bit higher. Now slowly release the pose. Downward facing dog again. Focus back on your breath whenever you're ready. Inhale, left leg up and swing your left foot forward in between your hands. Low lunge or set your high lunge. Keep your back legs very, very strong. Back heel up, scissor your legs to the center. Now slowly inhale, body up. Hold your fist, fist together and now open yourself up. Find your GST, stay still here, push your belly button in. And now go a little bit deeper, we are going to stay here for four more breaths. Again, don't think anything else, just focus, soften your gaze, use your breath, help you to stay stronger. Keep your chest open, keep lengthening your spine long, one more breath here only. And slowly release your arms down. For those who are in low lunge, keep in low lunge if you want. For those in high lunge, bend in your back knee, but try not to touch the mat. And now open your arms to the side, palms facing up. Squeeze your elbows in again. Stay strong, keep scissor your legs to the center. Keep press the four corners of your front foot down. Push your belly button in. Don't focus on your legs, focus on your breath. Stay strong, soften your gaze. Two more breaths. Go a little bit deeper, last one. Stay strong, don't give it up. And slowly inhale, release the pose, hand on your hips, straight your front leg, release some tension. Whenever you're ready, open your hips to your right side and set your warrior two position. Back foot parallel to the mat, press the outer edge of your back foot down, knees over your ankles. And now warrior two, soften your shoulders down, push your belly in and melt your hips down. Just take gaze in between your index fingers and your middle fingers. Find your breath, inhale and exhale. Don't focus on your legs. Mm. 
One more strong breath here. Use your breath. Inhale. Feel yourself a little bit lighter. And when you exhale, bending your front knee more and fold down a little bit more. Keep your warrior two legs. Turn your palms up. Pull your face from out. Index fingers. And now like holding an arrow. Open yourself up. Soften your hips down. Stay strong here. This pose is a strong pose. Keep lengthening your spine up. Keep your chest open. Find your face. Again, if your neck hurt, just release your face. Keep press the outer edge of your back foot down. Back legs very, very strong. One breath here only. Now slowly release the pose. B, warrior two again. Straighten your front leg. Windmills your arms down. Step back into downward facing dog. Release some tension here. Inhale and exhale. Whenever you're ready, inhale, shift your weight forward into high plank. Left palms under your face and turn your body to your right side. Again, choose your options. Support a side plank. Full side plank or even lift your legs up if you want. Find your focus, don't think anything else. Keep pushing left hip up. One breath here only. Now slowly release the pulse. Stay in high plank for five breaths. Keep hollowing your armpits, keep your legs strong. Again, you can drop your knees down, but try not to totally stop. Use your inhale and exhale. Find one spot to focus on. Now slowly inhale, lift your hips up and exhale, downward facing dog. Walk your feet to the center of your mat. And open yourself up into Father's Pose. Turn your toes out. We are going to do two sets today. Okay, bending your knees, keep your knees turning out. First one. Again, elbows in, palms facing forward for this one. You can dilute the pose or go a little bit deeper. Soften your gaze, soften your shoulders down. Give yourself a smile, welcome to the challenge. One more strong deep breath here. And slowly release the pose, press yourself all the way up, lengthen your arms long into star pose. Spread all your fingers out, feel the air around your fingertips. Soften your gaze. And slowly release your star pose and back into focus pose again. Find the four corners of your feet down firmly. Press them down. This time you can have option two or stay in the same pose. For option two, heel up. This time, move your palms together, like one on top of the other, and palms facing up. Keep push your belly in, keep your chest open, soften your base here. Two more breaths. Oh, a little bit lower. And slowly release the pose. And into star pose again. This time, if you want, add a back bending. Keep your legs strong 
and push your hip forward. Keep finding the four corners of your feet, press them down firmly, and now open your chest up. Feel yourself in a very big universe. Expand yourself out. Feel the all energy around your body. You're receiving all the positive energy into your body. And slowly inhale back to center. And exhale, release your arms down. Back into mountain pose position. Fit hip with a part. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, palms together in front of your heart center. And now lift your heels up. You can stay still here or in the balancing chair pose. Keep your heels up. Imagine there is a block in between your legs. Squeeze the block tight to the center. Keep press your palms to the center as well. Soften your gaze. Try to go a little bit lower. Stay strong. We're almost done for the end. Whew. Now slowly release. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, forward fold. Turn your toes to the side, and slowly melt your hips down on your heels. Palms together in front of your heart center, and now close your eyes. To find the four corners of your feet, press them down firmly. Inhale through your nose and exhale. If you feel too much on your lower back, you can lift your heels higher and try to string your hip from side to side. It's time to move into our yin practice. We are in Yoji Spark as a transition here. Palms together. Use your elbows to push your knees out. Keep finding your breath here. Inhale and exhale. Now slowly release the pose. Ooh. Find a pillow if you want. We are going to be in easy cross next position. Sit on a block or a pillows. If you have practiced lotus before, go ahead. You can use, you can do lotus. So try to find your sit bones on your block or on your mat or, or on your pillows. One palms on your chest, the other palms on your belly. And now close your eyes. Keep your knees open to the side. Make your knees steady to surrender to the red mats. Soften your eyebrows. You may still feel your heart rate a little bit up. Use your inhale and exhale to calm yourself down. Use your exhale to ease the tension. Still focus on your own practice. Try not to think anything else outside of your mats. We all know that there are lots of things happening around. Just take 15 minutes here today on your mats and this is your own time to connect with your breath and connect with your body. One more breath here. And slowly inhale, open your arms to the side. And exhale, cross your arms, maybe left arms over your right first. And now slowly forward fold. 
If you want to have some pillows under your forehead, go ahead. We are not going to stay here for too long. Keep closing your eyes. Don't think anything else and just let your shoulders surrender to the mats. Use the gravity to help you to stretch. Keep closing your eyes. Soften your forehead down on your mat as well, if you can, or on your pillows. And slowly, slowly release the pose. Body up first, inhale. Lengthen your arms long to the side. And exhale, the other arms on top. And slowly fall forward. If you don't want to go down, it's okay. Just rounding your shoulders, you can still experience some shoulder stretch. Slowly, slowly release the pose. Remove the pillows or the block to the side. And into tabletop position first. Swing your hip from side to side. And now slowly walk your palms forward. Your choice. If you feel too tight, you can just drop your forearms down and walk your forearms forward until your body just wants to stay still there okay or if you want to open more walk your fingertips forward even more make sure your hips is over your knees and now slowly melt your chest down and put your forehead down on the mat for those who have uh, more experience you want to open more chest down on your mats Keep lift your hips up, chin on the mat, or forehead on your mat. When you are in your pose, stay still there. And close your eyes. Use your inhale and exhale. We are going to stay here for three minutes. So try to find a comfortable position that your body wanted. When you're in the pose, try to stay still there. And let your whole body totally soften it down. and only listen to your breath. When you inhale, still find the spaces in your body. And when you exhale, let everything go.
focus back on your breath. Close your eyes, keep your head heavy. If you want support, go ahead, get more pillows for yourself. We are going to stay here for three minutes. So again, try to find a comfortable position that you feel better. Keep closing your eyes. Don't think about anything else. Stay still, stay focused on your own practice. Everything will be fine. And slowly, slowly release the pulse. Stay still for a moment. Again, always find the center of your body before we moving forward. Now slowly release the pulse. Whenever you're ready, change side. Extend your left leg to the front. Bending your right. If you want support, go ahead. Put it under your right knee. Find your sit bones sit tight on your mat. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, soften your upper body down. Again, you can bend in your left knee more if you want. Left side may be different from your right side, but it's okay. Your body just needs more time to get it balanced. Keep closing your eyes and only listen to your inhale and exhale, soften your whole upper body down. Let gravity help you out. Totally surrender to your mats. Relax your whole body muscles. Just let everything go. Try not to fight with your body. Try not to fight with the pose.
slowly, slowly release the pulse. Lift your body up slowly. Find the center of your body first. No rush at all. When you're ready, we move into the other pose. Okay, for the first options here, fit together. And just try to sit in tall and nice. If you want, use a block, put it under your seat bone. And let your knees totally melting down. You can adjust the distance between your feet and your body. Okay, second options. Mm -hmm. Open your legs to the side. You can keep bending your knees if you want. Feel your body is the most important thing. Okay, or try to straighten your legs to the side. Find your sit bone first. If you feel you're quite comfortable here, go ahead, use the pillows to support your whole upper body and stay still here for those who are quite flexible use the pillows or without the pillows and try to melt your upper body down listen to your body all the time for this pose try to be more mindful it's not a matter how low we can go it's not a matter how flexible we are we try to take a moment here to feel our body more and let our body totally open still use your inhale and exhale help you to experience this pose when you inhale, try to soften and relax the muscles, especially muscles and soft tissues around your hips, around your lower back, at the back of your legs. And when you exhale, let your whole body melting down even more. Sometimes your body may want to swing from side to side, your hips go ahead. Just let your body and your mind to guide in your practice. Keep closing your eyes. For those who open legs to the side, try to keep your kneecaps always facing up. Again, it's not a matter how low we can go. It's just a matter how we feel our body. And focus on your beautiful breath. One more minute. Now slowly release the pose. Move your palms towards your body first. Ooh. Feel your hips, feel your whole body again. Find the center of your body first. And now use your hand, help you to move your legs back together. Give yourself a big hug. Knees to chest. Move everything back to the center. 
And last pose, options here, you can start your Savasana by extend your legs to the front, thumbs inside your body and stay still there for the last five minutes or as long as you want. Or get a pillows, we're going to do the recline pose. So get a book or anything or even without pillows, okay? So try to lift it up like this. Imagine this one is a pillows, okay? Move your hips and lying down options here you can just keep bending your knees you can straighten your legs forward or fit together and open your knees to the side for your arms just relax your arms to the side and palms facing up and close your eyes here Soften your eyebrows, soften your whole facial muscles. And try this moment, the stillness. And the openness. For those in Safasana, when you're in Safasana, try to stay still till the end of the class. Let your whole body very, very relaxed and very, very heavy, like you're mounting down on the mat. Soften your eyebrows. Soften your whole facial muscles. Flat your tongue and slightly open your mouth. Let your whole body restore. For those who are lying down on your pillows in a recline pose, whenever you're comfortable, you feel you're ready, slowly use your hands to make your knees back together and turn your body to your right side and remove the pillows to the side. For those in Safasana, you can stay still in Savasana as long as you want. For those who are, who are ready to come back, slowly move your toes, slowly move your fingers. Lift your arms overhead, make a very, 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 very big stretch here. Let your waking up in a very good morning. <laughs> Slowly bending your knees, turn your whole body to your right side 
and use your left hand help you to sitting back up into any seated position that you feel comfortable with. Find your sit bone, keep sitting tight, keep your spine long, and still use your ear how to feel yourself lighter. Find the spaces in your body. Give yourself a gentle smile here. We are going to seal our practice today. Palms together in front of your heart center. Slightly bow your head down. Palms in front of your third eyes. We all love our life. If you want, repeat, I love my life together. For three, two, one, I love my life. I wish you have a very, very good day and Namaste. Hope you enjoy it. Bye, see ya.